Hi, brother and sister scouts. I'm Mori Chen from Hong Kong. I'm truly grateful to be one of the candidates for the Youth Advisors to the World Scout Committee. I hope this short video can provide all of you with some more information about myself. The greatest challenge in achieving the Vision 2023, in my opinion, is to recruit sufficient leaders to support the operations of the local scale groups. Many leaders are those who got involved at a very young age. But how do we invite more parents and other, other scouts and other adults to join as leader to solidify our scouting foundation? Besides, we need to further expand our scouting network to other countries, such as China. The successful experience of Myanmar and Timor Leste are definitely a good precedent, and I'm sure my experience as a regional scout committee member in the Asia Pacific region can further contribute that as well. Another challenge would be to change the perception of scouting. Modernizing scouting. How do we convey the development of spirituality through outdoor activities? And how do we promote inclusion of faith and religion? Another important issue is how to incorporate the 21st century life skills into our scouting method to fit in our informal education in this modern world. Youth involvement and empowerment is of course another important agenda. It is important to further promote youth empowerment in every single national scout organization and at the same time further incorporate the decision-making process between young adults and leaders. Ideally, youth should be inside the decision-making body but not in a separate structure. Scouting boils the inclusion and acceptance but it doesn't mean that we support the fact that all nations may accept refugees whenever there are any. In short term, we give them support whenever they need. We invite them to join our skill group. We give them informal education and a chance to bond with the community. For example, incorporating the Ticket to Life program from the Asia Pacific region to other regions, as well as provide refugees with opportunities to merge into the society. In long term, however, we should focus on fighting against the ideologies behind all these conflicts, such as to promote peace, to promote intercultural and interdialogue of religion and appreciation, and to equip the younger generation with a global citizen identity. What I believe is only when people work together, we can brave all these hurdles. Together, we dream. Together, we make it real. Together, we create a better world. Thank you.